Okay, so we're going to set the belt tension on this Nomad Mark III with gates. We're going to need a 5mm Allen key for the bolt underneath the bottom bracket and we need the factory eccentric tool. That's all we need. Oh, and a phone with the gates carbon drive app on. So we're going to loosen the eccentric bolts first of all so we can turn the eccentric. Okay, that should turn nicely. Let's check that. Tool in, two holes here. There you go, you can see the eccentric moving. That's what we want. So we'll leave it at slack position at the minute. Now, the next thing we need to do is open the app on your phone. Let me just get this open. Should have got this ready, shouldn't I, bear with me a moment. Okay, so the app we're looking for is the Carbon Drive app. This is available in the App Store for both Apple and Android phones. It'll ask you what type of belt are you tensioning? Bicycle. Okay, so once we've got the app open, let's put a bit of tension on the belt. Put your microphone where the belt is. I'm going to flip the belt. And we're getting readings here. It's not the quietest environment, so uh, thank you, Michael. Um, so we don't get consistent readings, but in a, in a quiet environment, you should get consistent readings here. And this gives you the value here. Also, you will see the suggested range. So for an internal gear, we're not a mid-motor e-bike system. We're here. So they're saying between 45 hertz, 65 hertz. I would always recommend going towards the lower end. There's nothing to be gained really by going at the higher end. Gates specify you have a snubber. And this is here to stop the belt skipping over the teeth if you don't have sufficient tension. And that works very well. Um, so you don't really need to over tension these belts at all. Um, so back to this one. The annoying thing is you have to exit out of the app and go back into it to get it to reset. Okay, that's a little bit high. Let's wind so this back a bit. It. Slacken it, tiny, tiny little bit. That's right on the low end, so I'm happy with that. Do it back up. Tighten these back up. Don't you go crazy tight with these. This is a standard length Allen key and just firm hand pressure. We just need to do it tight enough to stop the eccentric turning in normal use. Also, if you run at lower tension, it's easier to get the back wheel in and out as well. There we go, done.